Dramatic battles. The moves are launched correctly. And the ways to prepare the bait are extremely clever. The fox is very eager to catch its prey. He did not expect that so quickly he was also in the sight of an eagle in the distance. An unfortunate red fox has come into the sights of the bold eagle. An eye-catching dive of prey from the air. With the sharp claws of an eagle, the red fox could do nothing but obediently accept its fate. Rabbit is trying to run away from the eagle's chase. After the pounces, the rabbit fortunately dodged. Looks like it's out of luck this time as the eagle has dived at high speed and decisively caught it. Use your legs to squeeze to kill your prey. An eagle, when it begins to fly low, is when it's reached its target. It seems that it just wants to play with the dog below and doesn't want to catch this animal. High above the eagle spreading its wings slowly approached the two mounting goats on the rocky slope. The eagle's outstretched wings show just how powerful it is. Immediately aiming for the mountain goat, the eagle grabs it and drags it down the slope. Following the slope, the eagle took the mountain goat and dragged it for a long distance. The kites are waiting for their mother to bring back food. Mother hawks begin the hunt. They use their sharp eyes to observe the ground. A bald eagle stands on the tree branch to observe its prey. Its main food is fish. Its extremely good eyesight allows it to detect fish, even on sunny days, by the fact that its eyes. Having identified the target, the predator swoops down to grab the fish out of the water. A hind claw on each foot pierces the fish's body, making it difficult for the fish to escape. The snake that lies on the ground must be looking for a safe place to molt. The eagle's sharp talons will certainly be a great danger to snakes. Seeing the target eagle fly down and carefully observing the surroundings. When approaching the prey, the eagle discovered that there were many snakes around him. The snakes around seemed to be indignant at the appearance of the eagle. The eagle spread its wings to threaten the snake. Using his sharp claws and beak to catch and knock down the prey. The falcon is watching its eggs. The uninvited guest is slowly approaching the falcon. Seeing the danger, the falcon spread its wings, ready to fight. Unlucky for the snake, when he first bit his head, he was easily dodged by the falcon. Not stopping there, the snake continued to rush up. A single kick of the falcon's legs sent the snake out of sight. The owl is a species that lives in the north, with very quick observational agility that helps it to identify its target. Once the location of the target has been determined without hesitation, it finishes off the prey.
When it's caught the prey, it takes the prey and flies back to the nest. An owl standing on a tree branch, waiting for the sunset to come and hunt. Sharp eyes look at their prey without taking their eyes off it. The mouse was busy looking for food, not knowing that there were sharp eyes looking at him. When the time comes, the owl swoops down to grab the prey accurately and flies up the tree branch to enjoy the prey. In the cold weather, a snowy owl is standing on a tree branch hunting for prey. They watch and wait in style. When the ball shows prey, they will fly to grab their prey with their sharp claws. Old eagle flying in the sky looking for prey. It was lucky for this hunt to have a prey lying right there. The hungry wolf has come to chase the bold eagle away from his own. The bold eagle gave his greedy man a kick and then flew away. The wolf alone takes the prey. The eagle is leisurely spreading its wings in the air. On the water, the grebes are cuddling each other. Precise water landing steals prey in a minute. It grabs its prey with one leg and can still fly so fast. The eagle is indeed a killer in the air. Poor wolf has unfortunately fallen into the claws of these two golden eagles. When the wolf tried to bite his teeth at the eagle, the eagle also responded when he took the little wolf's tongue with its beak. Again, the purposeful landings of the eagle on the ground. It's too dangerous at this time, the eagle's target is a baby sitting alone in the park. Fortunately, the mother found out and the eagle released the baby before it flew any further. The eagle's visual fossa has a 1 million cones per millimeter. Because of that, the eagle's eye can see even a mouse at 1.6 kilometers away. So, it's not surprising that every time they land, their prey is always in their claws. For some reason, these little pigs don't have their mothers around. Without the mother pig by their side, these piglets are a lucrative prey for predators like eagles. It won't be difficult because these piglets are no match for the eagle. Stealing prey at the eagle's feet while walking proudly. Although smaller than a black dog, the eagle is still very aggressive and has no fear at all. It always responds fiercely to each black dog's attack. Another mountain goat unfortunately caught the eagle's eyes. Even if he tried to hold on to the cliff, this goat could not match the strength of the eagle trying to pull it up off the cliff. With the old move, the eagle always picks up the prey to a sufficient height and then lets the prey fall freely in the air. After the free fall from that height, this mountain goat must have no hope of living anymore. Now the eagle just needs to fly down and enjoy the result. So far, the hawk has always been the eternal enemy of the chicken. From where did the falcon invade the rooster's burrow? With the instinct of a mother, she decided to fight the hawk and end to protect her chicks. The average flight speed of a bold eagle is 120 to 160 kilometers per hour. And the speed of a goat is only 40 kilometers, so it can't compete with the speed of an eagle. Perhaps this goat was less fortunate than the goats in the herd when it was pinned under the eagle's claws. 
Refusing to succumb to the eagle's claws, the goat always tries to run and find a way out. The goat dragged the eagle quite a distance, but it seemed that the eagle is no less competitive when it's determined to cling to its prey. The competition of endurance of these two preys will never come to an end. A group of horses are in the swamp of a crocodile. The crocodile has started to see the group of horses from a distance. So it started to slowly approach. The horses were still drinking water and didn't know. Suddenly a scuffle broke out between a colored horse. It kicked at the white horse. Meanwhile, the crocodile was still following the target and slowly approached. At that time has come, the crocodile diving under the water bit the horse. At this time, the group of horses panicked. Suddenly startled by the crocodile, they ran away. The crocodile was casually lying in the sun on the grass when suddenly the black horse ran up to kick it. After many kicks back and forth, the crocodile bit off part of the horse's leg. The horse that was bitten immediately ran away towards its own kind. The two horses probably got into a dispute and started to rush into each other's horns. The brown horse seems to start a fight, causing the white horse to get mad and respond. They use their claws to attack their fellow humans as if to trample them. Both horses kick at each other with their front legs. At this moment, a white horse is being bullied. Without patience, it immediately responds. The white horse counterattacked and started chasing the brown horse. And now it's the battle of two mature brown horses. The slaps, kicks, bites and scratches to win by the two horses were launched one after another. Both horses are still fighting fiercely. The other horses indifferently watch their own kind fight. The lion was immersed in the water when unexpectedly was discovered by the crocodile. The crocodile followed and immediately took a painful bite on the lion's neck. The lion panicked and struggled and immediately ran away. The white horse aggressively ran up to kick the brown horse and started the fight. The brown horse responded with a kick and immediately ran away. The white horse still has no intention of letting go. It runs after the group of horses ahead. At this time, it jumped up and kicked the brown horse, but the kick hit both the horses with great power. At this point, the brown horse was really angry, and it bit and responded to the other horse. It seems the brown horse doesn't want to fight, so always tries to escape from the white horse. But the white horse is still stubborn and tries to beat the brown horse. The wildebeest was drinking water when it was attacked by a crocodile. The sick wildebeest is no match for the crocodile. It hurts when it's pinned in the head by the crocodile's teeth. The wildebeest tried to escape and fell into the water, but the crocodile was still following. It then tried to regain its direction when suddenly it was attacked by a hippopotamus. The unlucky wildebeest just escaped from the crocodile and it was attacked by the hippopotamus once again. Wildebeest with wounds on its body, step by step, makes it to shore. Its limp steps were enough to understand just how much the attacks it had endured. Horses are inherently gentle, but when they get mad, even their fellows fight. The brown horse and the black horse rushed into a dispute. This time, the brown horse kicked the black horse in the face with its hind legs. 
Not stopping there, it turned around and continued to bite the black horse. Another kick to the finish, making the black horse blush. This great war seemed to end soon, when one of the two children was defeated. The male lion and a few young cubs rushed to attack the surrounding crocodiles. All three tried to block the body and the tail, instead of directly facing the head. Because the crocodile's teeth are extremely long and sharp, so it's difficult for the lion to hurt. Crocodiles have a very strong bite force and can seriously injure a lion if given the opportunity. Even though it's the same horse, it's probably because of the different breed that the black horse doesn't look like a zebra. It started to get up and bit upset with the zebra's body in chasing it away. The zebra also tried to respond, but its smaller body seems to be underwhelming. The whole herd of wildebeest was engrossed in drinking water when the crocodile attacked. Hiding in the water, the crocodile bites from the bottom, making the wildebeest unable to manage. At this moment, the whole herd of wildebeest panicked and ran out of the water and did not know where the crocodile was. The crocodile has found the object. It bites very hard onto this wildebeest and has no intention of letting go. The wildebeest struggled in pain to try to escape to the shore. But it's still stuck in the water and the crocodile is still following closely. Although the body was bitten and injured, the wildebeest had to try to escape. Unfortunately, the alligator unleashed its powerful bite and bit the head of the wildebeest. At this time, the wildebeest head was lying still in the crocodile's mouth. The zebra panicked when it was chased by the lion. It throws a kick in the face that sends the lion away from it. Another video shows a zebra trying to escape from a lion. With the endurance of a zebra, it rushes away to carry the lion on it. Then a fall caused the lion to fall off its body. The zebra immediately fled into the forest. By its efforts, it escaped the lion. A herd of zebras are roaming in the middle of the grassland grazing. Then the hunter appeared. Notice this, the zebras signaled to each other and fled in panic. The lion strode very long to follow the zebra's knot. The zebra ran and kicked back to kill the lion, but unfortunately the first shot missed. But fortunately, the speed of the zebra is no less than that of the lion, so it has extended the distance with the hunter. Lonely zebra trying to get ashore to escape from the crocodile. But the crocodile grabbed the zebra's hind leg and bit hard onto his leg. As soon as the horse's hind legs were released, the crocodile opened its mouth wide to bite into the upper part of the zebra. The zebra counterattacked by biting back at the crocodile's face. Next, when we saw the crocodile let go, it didn't have time to run, but it was stopped. A zebra screams in pain when it's bitten on the neck by a crocodile. 
despite all efforts to struggle in the water were in vain, because the crocodile attacked the critical point and submerged the zebra underwater. A jaguar is walking slowly into the underwater bushes. And then came the brave jaguar catching a caiman. Although the advantage in the water belongs to the caiman, the hunter is the jaguar and very reckless. Probably because of the caiman lid being quite small compared to the adult body of the jaguar. So the jaguar takes it down very easily. This polar bear seems to be very hungry. It quickly tackles the seal. But this seal is extremely strong. It struggled despite being torn by the bear. The situation is not very good. Seeing an antelope in the lake, the black bear rushed over. It wasn't until the bear approached that the antelope discovered the danger. The two sides rushed to attack each other fiercely. But with the advantage of maximum strength, the bear easily grasped the battle. The antelope struggled, but still couldn't escape the black bear's claws. The dying antelope was dragged to the shore by the black bear. Black Bear completely wins. A decisive battle between the two most powerful species in North America, in Yellowstone National Park. A grizzly bear and a bison confront each other. Both are large-sized animals slamming into each other. The bear is trying to jump on the back of the bison to push it down. They dragged each other to the riverbank. This is the real battlefield. Polar bears are the largest carnivores on land. It saw a hippo in the distance. The white bear immediately made a plan to conquer it. Because of its lack of vigilance, the seal panicked when it saw the polar bear emerging from the ice. The seal decided to jump into the water to hide, but it was too late. The bear followed closely, so it was easy to catch the seal. Black bears walking leisurely on the road and was suddenly attacked by a lion. As if there were a deep feud from before, the two sides rushed to fight without foreplay. The wars didn't last long they quickly ended. A large snow leopard unleashes its full speed when it sees the mountain goat. The snow leopard quickly approached the mountain goat. The mountain goat, sensing the danger, ran away, but it couldn't make it in time. The snow leopard caught the deer, but unfortunately slipped. Snow leopards, look at the mountain goats running away. A bear came to wander around the forest and was immediately ambushed by a pack of tigers. As the one who is always on the top of the fearsome predators, the tiger has a plan to take down its own prey. The cub has sensed danger. He urged his head to run away. Bear eyes are dull. Limbs are no longer agile. It looks very tired. Has it been through a fierce battle or is it simply hungry? Just by entering the water, the bear slipped. It still tries to keep its strength running to find food and luckily it found a fish. Without hesitation, the bear quickly brought the fish ashore and tackled it. The bear needs more food. Standing at a high position is a great position for the cougar to observe all the changes under his feet. It was overjoyed when it saw a black bear, so it rushed over. 
After falling from a height, the bear suddenly became more aggressive. The two sides rushed to attack each other fiercely. It was inconclusive. Unlike a white bear lying still, the black bear seems to be probing. The battle begins when the two meet. The white bear is ready for this battle. It actively chases the black bear out of its territory. The white bear chases the black bear to a small lake. The white bear returns to his territory. Cougar versus aggressive black bear and the end. I don't know what caused this fight. However, they attack each other incredibly fiercely. The black bear stands on both legs to fight, forcing the cougar to back down. Black bear cubs tease two cougar cubs, and the mother cougar retaliates. Although there's a big difference in body shape, the mother cougar can step by step squeeze the black bear. Seeing her pup go to a safe place, the mother cougar did not stay long. Due to the similarities in habitat and diet, grizzly bears often come into conflict with other carnivores, such as wolves. This is one of the typical fights when wolves try to steal food from grizzly bears. The wolf used a sneak attack, biting the bear's hind legs to distract it. But it's not easy. The wolves quite hastily rush to attack the grizzly bears. But there's nothing that you can do about these grizzly bears. Nor during mating season, brown bears often fight for the right to mate with the females. It stood up straight, using its own health to hurl its opponent to the ground. Then trying to use its sharp teeth to bite off the enemy's head. Fortunately, the two sides stopped fighting at the right time, and there were no casualties. We hope that you've really enjoyed and found interesting and useful values from the gecko. We'll continue to bring you exciting stories, information and experiences about the animal world in the future. Thank you for accompanying us.